Hey everyone, so today I wanted to do a quick review on the Clean and Clear Persa Gel 10 product for acne. Um, this one is 10% 10 10 benzoyl peroxide acne medication and it is maximum strength. It's by Johnson & Johnson. And this is what the tube looks like. There is one ounce of medication in a cream type of form that you apply to your acne um, up to, I believe it is three times a day. But the problem that I have with this is that if you have really dry skin, I don't really recommend using this particular um, one by Clean and Clear. I think they have one that is uh, Persa Gel 5, which would be 5% benzoyl peroxide. And the 10, what's, what's the problem with the 10% is that it's really, really strong. If you happen to have very oily skin, then I would probably suggest, and, and really like um, stubborn acne, then I'd probably suggest using this one. But because my skin is quite dry, and I only get occasional acne that could be severe, depends on, you know, where it is, um, then, I mean, I, I still would not use this one. I would just go ahead and probably purchase um, the 5. I think it, I think they have the Persa Gel 5. Um, at the time that I went to purchase this, I don't think they had the 5, so I was like, you know what, I'll just try this one. But I really don't like it. Every time I get acne, I don't want to reach for this. And the reason for me not liking it is because it is so strong on my skin that if you put it on your skin and you happen to have skin a skin type like mine, um, you put it like a dab on it, but it dries your skin out so much that it looks terrible. It first of all, this is white. It goes on white, and it stays like that. It doesn't um, blend into your skin or anything. So you probably just want to use it at night, if anything. You use it at night. Um, and then rinse it off in the morning or whatever. I wouldn't use it like if you're going out because it's just um, too white in color. And the thing with it, I really hate that it dries your skin out so much. I end up, I think it looks worse when you use this on your skin if you have dry skin because it makes it look like a crater. I don't know. And then it looks like a scab. It just looks terrible. So I don't recommend this one, especially if you have dry skin like I do. Um, probably use the lower medication type that they have or try something else but I would say thumbs down to this one hope that helps you